everybody, my name is Helen and today I have my October wrap-up and my November TBR. So the first book that I read this month was Lost Voices by Sarah Porter. I did a review of this book, I'll leave a link down below. I do not have this book anymore because it was a library book. I believe I rated it 3 out of 5 stars and if you check out my review you can find out why. The second book that I read this month was Mutation by Robin Cook. Again, I do not have this book because it was borrowed from a friend, but basically it was like a science fiction medical thriller that had to do with that had to do with a man who works with uh, mutation technology. I gave that book five out of five stars, and again, I have a review of it, so I'll link that down below. The third book I read this month was *Tell the Wolves I'm Home* by Carol Rifka Brunt. I read this for one of my book clubs on Goodreads, and it's about this girl whose uncle died from AIDS and how she kind of just learns about him through uh, his husband, actually. And it's such a good book, and it's such a good coming-of-age story. I rated this 4 out of 5 stars, I believe. The next book I read was The Land of Stories, The Wishing Spell by Chris Culver. I have been wanting to read this book for a long time, and I was really glad that I did. It's a story about twins who fall into their grandmother's fairy tale book and how they have to get their way back home. I gave this book four and a half out of five stars, I believe. It was actually a lot of fun, and I think that Chris Colfer did a really good job. The next book that I read was The Curious Incident of the Dog in the Nighttime by Mark Haddon? Hayden? Bad pronunciation. Uh, the story is... Uh, told from the point of view of a child with Asperger's as he's trying to solve the crime of his neighbor's dog being murdered. So this was a really interesting read. I believe I rated it 4 out of 5 stars on Goodreads. I recommend it to everybody. It's just such an eye-opener for the way that certain people do think, and I think it was a really good way to do it. The next book that I read this month was Divergent by Veronica Roth. I have owned this book for probably two years, and I never got around to reading it until this month. I loved it. I own Insurgent and Allegiant now, so I'm gonna read those probably soon-ish. I want to know how this is all gonna go. I rated this book 4 out of 5 stars, I believe, because I found it to be really, really interesting, and I really liked the characters. I actually don't know why I didn't rate it 5 out of 5. I'm gonna go change that rating. The next book that I read was Delirium by Lauren Oliver. I did a review of this book and I'll leave the link down below. I gave this book 4.5 out of 5 stars because I really liked the story, but the, like, the first half of it was really, really slow. So the second half made up for it, but the first half was still really slow. I am going to read Pandemonium and Requiem eventually, but that depends on one, when I can buy them, and two, when I have time. The next book that I read was Anna Dressed in Blood by, I already butchered this name in another video, Kendare, Kendar, Kendare, Blake, however you pronounce it. This book is about a ghost hunter named Cass, and he goes to Thunder Bay to hunt Anna Dressed in Blood. But of course, she's not what she seems, and beautiful things happen in this book. It is so good. It was the perfect Halloween read for me. It, it was just a lot of fun. I recommend this book to everybody. I rated it 5 out of 5 stars. It is officially one of my favorite books of all time. This month, I also listened to the audiobook of Coraline by Neil Gaiman. I believe I rated Coraline 5 out of 5 stars. Considering it is a book for children, it is actually very, very scary, especially if you listen to it at night. Neil Gaiman narrating it is the most beautiful thing that has ever happened in my life. His voice is so perfect. He needs to read every single one of his books. I need, I need audiobooks of all of his books with him reading them. It was a great listen, not a read. It was a listen. Now, that was my nine books I believe that worked out to for October. And now for my November TBR. Now, I am taking part in NaNoWriMo this year, so I'm not expecting to get a lot of reading done. I have two book clubs that I am part of on Goodreads. One of them does one book a month, and one of them does four books a month. And I'm trying to do the uh, book of the month challenge. 
with that group, so I have to read ten books by the end of the year, and I just joined it this month, and I read two of them, and now I need to read the next four books for this month and four books for the next month in order to actually meet my goal of those ten books. So we'll see how that goes. I don't know what books I'll be reading for those yet, but they will be considered part of this TBR. I am currently reading Along for the Ride by Sarah Dessen. I'm actually hoping to have this done by midnight tonight, but we'll see how that goes. I am just short of being halfway through it. Um, this is the story of a girl named Auden who goes to visit her dad and her stepmom and meet her new baby sister, and she just kind of becomes a new person while she's there, and it's actually a really cool story so far. This is the first Sarah Dessen book I've ever read. I've actually kind of avoided her for a while. I tried reading one of her books once, and I just, I didn't like the writing style of that particular one. That was many years ago, so I'm actually really happy with how much I'm enjoying this book. It is one of my book club reads, and hopefully I can have it done in time. Now, because of the fact that so many of my books that I will potentially read this month come from my book clubs, I will only have one book that I'm actually going to take out of this. I have a TBR jar, because I have a lot of books that are old and I have not read them, and I have a lot of books that I have bought that are new, and if I don't do this to myself and make myself pull out a book that is one of my older ones to read, then I will never read my old ones, I'll just keep reading my new ones and it will just be ongoing and terrible. Alright, not gonna look. My TBR jar is dirty, apparently. That's not picking out this one. That doesn't help me. The strip says Doctor Who, but I have I have four Doctor Who books. Way to go, Helen. Way to go. And I'll have to go through this later and find out which one this is supposed to be. Actual one to come out now. The Da Vinci Code! Okay, so it looks like one of the books I'll be reading this month was, is The Da Vinci Code by Dan Brown. I have wanted to read this for a while, actually, so thank you, TBR Jar. Um, um, so I don't actually know much about this book. I never watched the movie because when it came out I was like eight and it looked really scary, so I just never did. So it looks like this is about a symbologist named Robert Langdon who receives an urgent call because they believe that they have found a hidden clue in the works of Da Vinci and they all go together. Alright everybody, that is it. That was my October wrap-up and my November TBR. Just so you know, I will be doing nano vlogs throughout NaNoWriMo. I do not know if I'll be doing them daily or weekly or just whenever I kind of think about it, but I will be doing it. I will update you on my word count. I will leave the link to my profile in the thing down below. Feel free to add me as a buddy. The more of you meet your word goals, the better it's going to be for me, because I'm going to kind of take a little thing from Catty-tastic here. And every time that you guys hit your word count goal, I am going to eat a piece of chocolate, and it is going to be beautiful. I guess I will see you hopefully tomorrow with my first nano vlog. Bye!